Well, welcome to today's episode of Rusty Duck Garage. Man, my wife, she says that I probably shouldn't go to car auctions anymore. I go to a car auction, end up buying something I really don't need. Like this 2001 Ford F-150 Harley Davidson pickup. I went to the auction with a buddy of mine and saw this truck going through and it was, seemed like a really good price. So I raised my hand and uh, I won the auction. And it's really not a terrible truck, but it's not a great truck either. It's got the 5.4 liter V8 engine with automatic transmission. And like I said, the Harley Davidson package was kind of neat. But the truck has 158,000 miles and hasn't been very well maintained. It runs good. Transmission shifts good. Differential does have a little bit of pinion noise. But other than that, it goes down the road pretty well. It does have an engine misfire, which I'll be fixing and addressing today. Now the truck does have some issues and problems, like I said there. Uh, you can see the front bumper here. Somebody has, that's a receiver hitch there. You can see that they've run into or backed into this truck with it. Uh, <clears throat> fog light holes down there on the bumper, but it doesn't have any fog lights down there. I don't know if that grill's factory or not. The tube grill in these. It does have a cracked windshield. Now the truck does have all the original Harley-Davidson wheels on it, which I like. Um, it has a 265-50R20 tire on it. Crew cab, of course. Has this bed cover on the back of it that uh, is not latched properly. It uh, slides around, and I was kind of concerned that it might fly off going down the road. Sliding rear window the back not sure if it's power or not got a dent in the tailgate there got a power cord sticking out i'm not sure why what that's about but it looks like a trailer one so i'll clean that up take care of that there and it got a few scuffs a little pad on the bumper there uh if i'd call that dual exhaust not but it does sound pretty good and overall the body is pretty straight on the truck for what it is 2001 with i believe what I'd say, 158,000 miles on it. And it does have the key this entry, but I haven't looked for the code yet. Don't know what it is, but hopefully it's inside the glove box or something here. And you'll see down here, it's got a broken door handle. That's cheap, easy fix. This panel down here is off and they've done some wiring with, for an alarm or something. Uh, but I do have that panel, so I'll fix some issues there. Put that on there. It does have a stereo in it. It's not the factory stereo that I like. Um, it is a factory sunroof truck. Harley Davidson leather interior. Uh, not, not the best, but it's not horrible either. So I stopped at the gas station on the way home to get gas, and it has a locking cap with no key. So I did make it home without running out of the gas. So I did, what I did is I took the cap off. I finally got it off, uh, forced it off there, and I drilled a hole in it and put a rivet in there, which secured the two pieces together, so now the cap works just fine. So that was a nice little hack there. And it does have the 5.4 liter Trident engine, and I believe this is before the three valve, so it's a, a more reliable engine than the three valve. This engine sounds good, however, it does have an engine miss, which I believe it to be an ignition coil or a spark plug or a spark plug boot. And I've got all new of those eight coils and eight spark plugs that I'll be putting in to take care of that miss. Yeah, I uh, put some different battery cable ends on here. Uh, those are really temporary ends is what those are called, but uh, they do get you out of a bind and they do work, but it's not the and best. And we'll fire it up here and see what she sounds like if I can find the key. Yeah, I'll start her up here. Let you listen to her. Sounds pretty good.
right, so we've got an engine misfire. Uh, it's dropping a cylinder, like it's got a bad coil or bad spark plug or, or spark plug boot there. So I'm gonna pull all 10 spark, or excuse me, all eight spark plugs out and, and the coils and probably replace most all coils and the uh, spark plugs also. So we'll start with here, removing this cover off there that I had the bolts out of here. And the air cleaning here. You got the air intake sensor there. I'm gonna pull, pull that off the throttle body. Pull that out of the way. Not sure what that wire is, but we'll figure that out. Pull the air cleaner out of there. And we got a little more access to it, but none of these are fun to do. With the engine set back underneath the firewall, those four coils back there are gonna be a pain in the butt. So re before I removed the coils and the spark plugs, I did scan the engine for any trouble codes and uh, did find any trouble codes here. Codes remaining zero. So we've got no engine codes on. I was hoping to find a uh, engine misfire code for say number four cylinder or number one cylinder or whatever. Uh, so I could do go directly to the uh, problem. So I did pull all eight spark plugs and found moisture around the uh, spark plug boots. And the spark plugs themselves were, the gap was really wide on them because they were wore out. So I put all new spark plugs in it and boots and also replaced the coils. Replacing the spark plugs in the coils took care of the problem. The truck now runs really good. I then removed the front bumper that was damaged by the trailer uh, stinger. Hammered out uh, all the dent there and uh, metal finished it out, ground it down and and uh, puts a primer on just some black paint. Paint doesn't match, but it looks okay. Looks much better for almost zero cost. Then I tackled cleaning the truck, starting with the interior. It was pretty gross. Then I went to the outside and started to uh, polish the truck. Um, and it, it has a lot of issues and problems, and it still does, but it looks a lot better. I was able to use a uh, McGuire's polishing compound and just a little orbital buffer, and then a couple areas I did use my uh, machine buffer. But overall, I think the truck looks pretty good for having less than $5,000 into this truck. I think that's one of the cheapest Harley-Davidson F-150s in the country. And if you would, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. We'll catch you next time at Rusty Duck Garage.